Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Christiana Weishoun of Scala Data Centers, where we'll be talking about sustainability and also about Scala and how they are leading the way as a Brazilian-based uh, data center operator and how they are literally uh, moving into the North America, U.S. space and are here at Data Cloud USA today. So honored to be here with you, Christiana. Thank you. Thank you so much, Buffy, for having me here. Yeah, I mean, Scala has had a remarkable journey uh, rising up to the top in the Latin American hyperscale market in just over three years. Is that, is that yes, right? Yes, correct. Three year, three and a half years, actually. Oh, yeah. That's such fast growth. Uh, can you share what factors contributed to that acceleration of growth in Latin America, please? Yeah, definitely. So I could uh, highlight some factors uh, that, uh, sh that uh, contributed to that. So first of all, local customers that were migrating to the, to the cloud at a faster pace right. than before. So I think this is one of the most important ones. And second, the power restrictions in Virginia, right? That is the key hub for hyperscale to provide service Absolutely. to Latin America. And this is very important as well. So, and the third one, I would highlight some uh, demand for lower latency in the U.S. that made the hyperscalers release capacity in the U.S. and then move that capacity to Latin America instead of, uh, you know, exporting services to, to them. And lastly, I would highlight the, um, the currency, currency restrictions, currency impact, you know, because uh, local consumers prefer, to, don't want to pay in dollars, right, uh, for, for services that are provided locally. So these are, these are the main factors. And of course, they were all uh, affected by the, the pandemic, right? The pandemic, it was very super, super impactful uh, for us in a positive way that in that sense um, and that contributed to for us to 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 shift that uh, to to all of this work to Scala it was super super good and Scala was very very rapid very quick to respond to those to those events you know we mobilized uh, 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 an astonishing group of people there and we we secured land power equipment and with this uh, uh, very good group of people, we were, you know, super quick to, to grow 900%, let's say, in three, three and a half years. So it's an amazing growth, right? That is incredible growth rate. And you touched on some very important key factors that were pandemic pandemic driven, um, but of course that we're still seeing today, right? You mentioned power and some of those limitations, uh, the exactly. need for low latency. Um, but you're here today in, in the USA and uh, we're honored to have you here at Data Cloud. Um, but you're also a sustainability partner, which is one of JSA's key initiatives. And you are a sustainability partner for Data Cloud USA. I mean, we see the signage everywhere yeah. here on the floor. So what are you looking to achieve through this sustainability partnership uh, with Data Cloud USA? Right. So first of all, uh, what I would like to, what we would like to achieve with that uh, partnership is, you know, raise awareness, awareness for sustainability. We want people to know the impact that they have on the planet, on the environment, and let them reflect on ways on how to minimize those impacts right um, so we are working with a consultancy okay. that is helping us to calculate the carbon footprint of the event and we are going to offset that carbon footprint so we are investing in projects around the world that contribute to the climate change and each of these these uh, projects has an amount of carbon that is measured in tons of co2 and each tone is equivalent to one carbon credit and we're purchasing that carbon credits okay. you know so that we are investing then in these projects and therefore we are we are contributing to reducing that carbon footprint because these projects reduce the, the carbon footprint right and that's why we are we are that's how we are offsetting the carbon footprint of our event 
Wow. I mean, thank you for all that you're doing to help offset the carbon footprint here at Data Cloud USA in Austin, Texas. I mean, you can definitely see some of the uh, different initiatives that the organization mm -hmm. has been doing to make this event more sustainable. And as you know, Greener Data yes. uh, is a big key pillar for JSA. We, are, we, we will contribute to one chapter. <laughs> yes. So we are so excited to have you yeah. as a contributing author to Greener Data Volume 2 that will be launching on Earth Day uh, 2024. So I'm sure we'll be speaking to you more about that as yeah. we count down to Greener Data. Um, and like I mentioned, JSA is a big sustainability uh, leader in our industry and bringing, you know, different organizations together. And sustainability is a cornerstone of Scala's success. Can you delve into Scala's ESG program and how it aligns with your corporate strategy and some of the specific initiatives undertaking uh, to fulfill these sustainability commitments. Sure, sure. So not only are we passionate about sustainability, but we believe this is the right thing to do. You know, we must advocate for sustainable growth. I personally believe that um, companies that do that are more successful, right? And so uh, we are very focused on projects of um, uh, power and water efficiencies. Uh, we are investing a lot in reducing the intensity of our carbon footprint. We also invest in education, not only for our own employees, but for the communities around our data centers. So important. Education. Yes, that's it's very key. important super important mm -hmm. and of course that we always uh, develop our our projects with total transparency and respect for the diversity of opinions of all our stakeholders right so you asked me for some of the the examples of yes. our projects Please. right so in the environmental side i could highlight the that scala was the first latin american operator to operate with to, or to have uh, 100 percent of its power coming from renewable sources Right. And we have secured three gigawatts of capacity of clean power until 2033. That's amazing. It is. And we were the first Latin American operator to attain the carbon neutrality. Our center of excellence in engineering is working hard to make Scala having the have the, the lowest PUE in Latin America. So the PUE is related to power efficiency. It has the lowest in the Latin America. And we don't use water to refrigerate our equipment. So this is also super important for, for the environment, Very. right? And the social side, I could highlight that we are working with also with the communities around our data centers, and we have a, a total transparent uh, relationship with them, a relationship of trust, right? And not only we hire from the community, but also incentivate our third parties to hire from the community as well. So this is an important uh, for them in the, the procurement process. This is right. a differentiator, right, in the procurement process for them. And last but not least, uh, one of the programs that I'm most proud of is the Megawatt of Opportunity program. This is a program that Scala has established with, uh, and for every megawatt that we book in one region, we donate a full engineering scholarship for a student that lives in that region, plus a mentorship program, plus a job opportunity. So this is a very beautiful program. So not only are you helping the environment and a leader in sustainability in Latin America, you're also the megawatt program. Megawatt of opportunity program. Megawatt yeah. of opportunity program. You're giving back to the community exactly. in so many important ways. Exactly. Thank you for all that you're doing. Uh, Scala Data Center is a true leader in sustainability a true leader in giving back to the community. We are so happy to have you here today, Thank Christiana. you. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much for your time. And viewers, thank you so much for tuning in to JSA TV. Stay connected, stay curious, stay sustainable, and happy networking. Thank you.